for just a moment, I want to talk with you a little bit about our third characteristic of being a servant. Paul says in the New Living Translation, don't be impressed with yourself, but be more cognizant of those who you are around. And I think the third characteristic out of the principle I could take away from this passage is this. you got to forget about who you are. Servants are never worried about themselves. Servants already know who they are. Servants are already affirmed by God. Servants are knowing full well that it's not about them, that it's all about the Lord, it's all about Him. I think forgetting sometimes our own pedigree is one of the best things we could ever do for being an individual who serves the Lord. You know, how should I say it? Uh, where I've traveled and, and worked throughout the years, God has been extremely good to me. But one of the things I can tell you is, is whenever I tried to be puffed up or if I tried to be impressive about something, trust me, I fell flat on my face. The best thing you can do is to forget who you are and to always be focused upon Christ. That's kind of the thing that I remember of what Paul goes on and says later in chapter 2 where he says that Jesus emptied himself. He didn't think it, being equal was God a thing to be grasped. He was willing to empty himself, to divest himself of it. Literally, he forgot who he was in one sense for the cause of saving mankind. There is a truth about that when it comes to, to touching people's lives. Whenever you're with somebody, people aren't worried about this, that, or what you're doing. They're interested in whatever it is. Maybe they're hurting. Maybe they're going through a difficult time. If you're not trying to bring attention to yourself, uh, then you can minister. And so you have to leave those things behind. Just be humble. Be willing to be worried about others more than you are about yourself. It's an important thing. And so the three characteristics... Give, forgive, and forget. And maybe forget is the most important of all. Think on it for just a moment.